Hello YouTubers, it is me. Welcome to another video. I know it's been a couple of months since I last left a video and I've been trying to think what else I could start filming to upload to my channel and this is one of them. It is my birthday, so happy birthday to me. <laughs> And so today I have travelled all the way to the town of Telford to a place called the Lup Inn. Feel free to check the website if you're interested in buying anything like uh, weapons, armour, leather, accessories and so on. And so I'm here looking for a couple of items and accessories like um, some shoulder armours and possibly um, some weapons like a sword or a spear and maybe anything that I took a fancy and want to buy so, so let's have a look around at this lovely shop
Well, I've had a good look around and I've buy a lot of items here like this uh, battle scythe it's like a, a spear some braces a gloves a sword and even a shield and I've had the pleasure of also with this gentleman the shopkeeper because I don't know his name sorry about that oh I'm Jamie well, nice to meet you Jamie <laughs> yourself and how do you, how well do you do making all of these props and items? Um, well, I mean, it's 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 a lot of fun to work on something like this all the time. So, uh, and I like to think that every year I work at it, we do something better and more exciting. So, um, yeah, it's great. It's great. And I see your workshop is just behind you. Yeah. But, um, but thank you very much for letting me in and showing me around as well as buying all of these items from you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for that James. Not a problem. And if you look down in the description below I will leave a link to his website if any of you are interested in weapons, armor, accessories or you're just into RPGs or LARP in general. So I've walked quite a distance from the industry estate and I'm now looking at um There's someone just beeping me and now I'm at the town centre So I'm just going to show you the town centre and a few other places and then head back onto the train Well, I'm back home. It's the next day now, so it's no longer my birthday. I was just so knackered and tired that I just had to just have dinner, a piece of my lemon sponge cake and just go straight to bed. There was, the train journey was hectic. I had to swap over to another train at Coventry because the one I was on was canceled. And then that train that I got on that took me close to Northampton 
was delayed for like 45 minutes to an hour before I actually reached home to Milton Keynes. So that's why I didn't film any more after what you've just seen at Telford City Centre. But what I am going to show you is the goodies that I bought at the LARP Inn that I showed you guys. I'll start with the little ones and work my way up to the big ones. So here we have some gloves which were about 25 but the price was cut down to 10. And just check the tag. It's the Celtic Sudi Gloves, which they could be handy for any sort of um, characters in the future that needs to wear gloves or any particular that needs to wear gloves for certain weapons. And although this is a little hilarious, but I bought myself some black socks. They were in the guy's um, bargain box for £2 each. Basically, when people play LARP or any sort of RPG role playing in the woods as such, they do a camp setup. So, of course, they need warm socks to keep their feet nice and cozy and warm if they're doing anything in like the winter time or something like that. But I needed them simply because my socks are ripped. Next up, what? We've got some arm braces, although these were 35 but they've been reduced to 25 and if you'd like to see, they've got a nice uh, tree design on it. These could be uh, elf arm braces or elfish, whichever you want to call it. But I figured they'd look good to go on a person's arm. And also reach down to the bottom. There we go. I got myself another one, another pair. Uh, these were 35 also, but they were reduced to 20 pounds. And as you can see, they got a nice um, eagle design on it, or hawk. Uh, sorry if I've made any mistakes. So. Two different pairs of arm braces. Okay, and now we can go up to the big ones. So here I had to get myself a sword. So this one is an adventurous sword, which is 34 inch full up and it's 30 pounds. There were many types of swords, but they were limited weapons as well. So I had to decide what to buy with the money that I had. There were like one which was a claymore, another was a um, Celtic, rape, Celtic Raper or Riper or something like that and then another one was a great sword but I decided to go with something a little simple and basic so I th these are kind of like two-handed but they're more mainly used for one-handed if you um, have a shield on your left arm. Oh, look. Here's the design of it. It's made out of foam, so it does not bend so easily because there's like a, a hard plastic or even a metal rod which is on the inside of these weapons. So it's nice when you, if you want to swing it around. I didn't hit that, but there you go. And there is one more I did buy as well, which is this. This is a battle scythe, which is a type of spear. And this was going for 115 pounds, but the price is reduced to 90 pounds, because if you look at the very tip of the spear, it's quite bent a little bit and people have this thing about weapons being bent but I decided to help James out the owner of LARP in and I'm sure I can bend it back into shape just to show you a little more up close and this is made out of foam 
so it's nice and strong and the same materials on the inside which is used to hold these weapons in place uh, trouble is is the thickness of this spear when you're grabbing hold of it usually they're a lot more smaller than that I'm not sure I can get used to it and there we go and one more to go this one isn't a weapon but this is a shield I wanted to get a shield because I've never actually made any shields myself even though I'm a props maker but it's limited to what I can make out of scrap materials like metal, plastic or even wood for that matter but I just got myself the cheapest one that I can buy uh, this one is a RFB small kite shield wood effect which was £45 so that's the cheapest one it's quite um, sticky probably because of the special gloss which is used to cover these uh, foam weapons and armour or just to make it more of um, the style of this shield but at the back you could just see the rope, the belt or straps whatever you want to call it and so you, if you are using something like um, this adventurous sword that I mentioned you could just put your left arm and then just hold it in so that way you've got a nice shield and a sword in your right hand Whoa. <laughs> well, I'm very glad that didn't break. <laughs> oh, uh, never swing your weapons indoors. I've never learnt my lesson when wielding my own weapons or props indoors. I've damaged and scratched all kinds over the years, but that's basically what it's all about. So a nice shield to go with everything. And that is about it. So I've had a wonderful birthday, much better than I've had over the last couple of years. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like, you may like and subscribe or click the bell ring icon to stay tuned to more videos that I will upload. I'll try and do some more of um, some of what my subscribers want me to show. It's a uh, Green Ranger, the cosplay that I wear, abandoned places and just to carry on in general what I film and upload to this channel. But so far I'm just one subscriber away from my other channel, The Rob's Film Crew, which is where I upload uh, short films and made up videos for entertainment as I'm a filmmaker. So you're welcome to check that channel out. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to have a look at that one. But there's not much on there because I'm still working on the big projects until it's actually uploaded to that. But also, I wanted to say thank you to Jamie, the owner of LARP Inn. He was very generous to let me into his store. He was very kind. He was very informative and helped me to look around the shop and explain about how he makes all these weapons, armor and accessories and costumes and clothing and belts and such because his workshop was fantastic and even the game bit up above his store which is all um, like war games and Dungeons and Dragons as such so thank you very much Jamie for that and if you guys are interested in LARP or RPGs or 
base of the weapons or armor or accessories that I've shown you that has an interest to you in any way, you may go to James's website, which I'll leave the link down below. Feel free to have a look because there is plenty there, as long as you have the money to buy it, that is. But thanks again for looking at my videos and good to know that it's still entertaining for most of you and I will see you again for another exciting video. Until then, bye bye.